Yo, what is up people? Welcome back to another video. So today I have a very interesting one for you. Oh, and yeah, by the way, we're on PetSim 99. Uh, this game is actually pretty good. Let me know in the comments what you think of PetSim 99 so far. Now, if you've been playing the game, you will see these golden paw prints around the map and there's actually 50 huh? of them. I'm going to show you every single location. That's right, all 50 locations. As you can probably imagine, this is going to be very difficult to do and it's going to take me a lot of hours. So if you could please do me an absolute massive favor because i'm sure i'm going to help you with this video showing your locations if you could drop a like subscribe and comment down below i would much appreciate that one other thing i want to quickly mention is make sure that you have all 50 areas unlocked because obviously these are scattered around the map so at the spawn area at the shop there is one right next to this tree every time i find one i'll zoom out to show you so here it is that's the first one the next one i'm going to quickly show you is at number 15 at the enchanted forest so this one is right next to this tree house and it's inside the log so i'm going to walk up to it and boom there it is that's number two that i'm going to show you the third one is it fire and ice which is number 42 now as you're at fire and ice it will be on your left and it's actually inside of the ice and it's right here right inside of the ice you can click that and boom so number four is at the spawn area it's just on the right side of this fountain behind this bush right here so that's number four. There we go. Another one, number five, is at the spawn area, but just walk over here past the index and it's right behind the social rewards. And it's kind of blended in with this stack of coins right here. Boom. That's number five. Right, so at number three, at the castle, teleport, there is one right behind the three diamonds right next to this tree. So, yep, boom. That's number six. Another one is at number five, at autumn teleport. And it is right behind this classic obby sign. So there it is right there. That is number seven. At number six teleport at the cherry blossom. There is one of these little paw prints right next to the potions vending machine. There we go. There's number eight. At teleport number seven at the farm. There is a paw print right next to the windmill inside this little box. And there we go. Number nine. At Misty Falls, which is number nine teleport. There is a paw print on the left side in the water. So here it is. And that will be number 10. At the Dread Forest, which is the number 12 teleport, when you go in there, turn right, and there is actually one just on top of this bush in the corner. And that is number 11. At number 13, the Dark Forest, there is one hidden inside of the tombstone. So there we go. There's number 12. And then there's also actually a second one hidden behind this tombstone as well. So there's two in this area. So yeah. So if you teleport to number 16, Crimson Forest, forest there is actually a tunnel right next to you in between the the pink trees and there is one that i've just found right here and it's inside the wall and that is number 14 at the teleporter 18 the jungle temple there is one actually just above this sort of doorway i sort of jump up to get it and that is number 15 now number 20 teleport the beach is there is actually two of them here so next to the daycare right behind it there is a bucket with one in so make sure you collect that that's number 16 and then right next to it there is also another bucket that has number 17 so here we go so i'll give you a bit of an angle so it's these buckets along the beach right next to the daycare in area 21 the coral reef there is actually a paw print in this yellow little coral that's on the sides kind of hidden that one so make sure you get it that's number 18 number 23 atlantis there is actually a paw print at the top here above this sort of dome it's right on this pillar so there we go that's number 19 so number 24 palm beach there is a shiny relic which i've i've just learned they're actually called shiny relics i've been calling them poor prints this entire time there's a shiny relic right above this door so you got to sort of jump up and click it somehow so yeah if you just sort of spam jump on the wall you can actually get it. it it was literally right there as you can see that was number 20 it's kind of a difficult jump to get that one but yeah just keep spamming you'll be able to get it so at area 25 tiki there's actually one that's very well hidden now if you are next to the rebirth it's right on to the left and it is behind this pillar right here now i actually very almost uh very close almost missed this one so definitely make sure you get this one that one's kind of hidden number 21 26 private cove there is one as soon as you teleport in right to the left near, near the water and it's right next to this palm tree boom 22 now there's actually a second one we just found that one over there next to the fruits 2 machine 
It is right behind it to the right a little bit, right next to the stack of coins, and that will be number 23. Right, so area 30, the fossil dig site, there is actually one right behind this sort of massive, like, sort of bone next to the dig site game, right behind here. It's kind of hidden, so make sure to look out for this one. So boom, number 24. So at number 31 at the desert pyramids, as soon as you spawn in, it is actually right next to the pyramid obby to the right behind this cactus. So here is number 25. Beautiful. So teleport number 33 at the wild west. There is indeed a paw print at this saloon right here on the left side and it is in the corner at this window and that it will be number 26. So number 34 at the Grand Canyon. Canyon. On the right side, there is actually one that sort of fell down. So make sure you collect that, number 27. At teleport number 36 at the mountains, there is right under this tree, hanging like a like an apple, really, is a paw print right in the tree. That'll be number 28. Teleport number 37, the snow village. Right above this house on the roof, there is a paw print. Or a shiny relic, sorry. And let me try and collect that. Well, let me click it for some reason. Oh, there we go. I'm on the roof. And that will be number 29. And at the same location behind these houses in the snow, like that's the one we just got from the roof, right through here, there is actually one right behind the house. So make sure you collect that, number 30. At the area, hashtag 39, the ice rink. There is actually a snowman that's holding one out with his uh, with his left arm. So there we go. There's another shiny relic. That's number 31. So at number 40 at the ski town, there is actually one right behind this snowman. And if you go, well, right back next to this house, this one's really hidden, by the way. So definitely make sure you get this one. And that'll be number 32. So at the teleport number 41 at Hot Springs, there is indeed a shiny relic right on the left side, kind of hidden in this waterfall. So make sure you get that. That's number 33. At the teleport 43, the volcano. Once you spawn in, it's actually to your right and it is in the lava pool right here. So there is a shiny relic that will be number 34. At number 44, Obsidian Cave, there is actually one right behind this rock and it is right here. So boom, that'll be number 35. So at number 45 at the Lava Forest, there is another one right here at this lava pool. And uh, yeah, I mean, this one's pretty obvious. That's number 36. Number 46 at the Underworld. Once you spawn in, it is to your left and is actually inside of this like dinosaur devil looking things mouth and there it is the shiny relic number 37 so number 47 at the underworld bridge as soon as you spawn in it is to your left behind the rare potions machine now this one's actually pretty hidden and it is literally right here so the rare potion machine's there and it's right there on this little ledge make sure you get that that'll be number 38 so at area 50 the fire dojo there is actually one as soon as you spawn in it'll be to your right and it'll actually be on this sort of red sort of pillar thingy my bob and there it is right up there so you gotta sort of jump and get that if i can reach it come on let me reach no i can't reach that i think you gotta sort of jump on this thing and try and glitch it or something there we go so number 39 boom so another one at area 50 as soon as you spawn in go behind the rebirth 2 machine and it's actually behind this golden pillar right here and that'll be number 40 so we're going back to number 27 because this is one that i actually missed so number 27 the private tavern there is actually one in fishing. I didn't think there would be shiny relics in this, but after searching for hours and hours now, I finally checked this and there's actually one in here. So if when you spawn in, you'll see the fishing sign, turn left and it's right behind this starfish. Now, there we go. Now, 41. <laughs> I've still got nine to find. <laughs> you pl Please leave a like. If you've made it this far, you've got to leave a like, man. This is... This is hard. At number 30 teleport at the fossil dig site, there is actually one that I missed in the dig site, uh, dig for chest, get a little mini game mode thingy my bob. So it is right at the back behind the mine and it is right here, right next to this massive sort of dinosaur bone. And you can actually just click it just there and that'll be number 42. Right, so there's actually a few relics that are in the trading plaza. So make sure you make your way over to there. Now, as soon as you enter the trading plaza, there is actually one to your right. Right, so where the trading terminal is, and it's right behind the tree, right next to the trading terminal. So, boom. That is number 43. No, it's under this bridge. So next to the trading terminal, right here, and where the VIP sign is, is actually under this bridge. And that'll be number 44. Now, for the third one that's in the trading plaza, it's actually behind the sign where it has all this cool fan art. And it's right behind here, 
placed on this little platform. So boom. And that will be number 45. Right, so in the area 27, the private tavern, there is actually a shiny relic inside of this boat on the left side. So right here, right underneath. It's quite a, a little nice little hiding spot there. I missed this one. So yeah, make sure you claim that. Number 46. We're four away, four away. Right, so in teleport number eight, the backyard. There is actually one right behind this fence. So once you spawn in, turn right, and it's literally in here behind these flowers in this little fence. So click that right there. That is number 47. So if you head over to 15, back to the Enchanted Forest, because once again, there was one that I missed. And if you turn left, there is actually one right behind this bush. Now, you little sneaky rascal. I, I completely missed that one. Found the one in the log there, but I missed that one. So yeah, make sure you get that. Right, so I found another one. So at the teleport location, 23 at the Atlantis you need to go inside of this doorway and there is one to our left once we oh actually no it'll be right and it will just be over here behind this pillar so there we go and that'll be number 49 so now we just need one more yo what is up so the 50th relic has been causing some issues I can't actually technically find it because i believe it is in this chest rush mini game but at the moment it is completely bugged because the way it works is you break a chest and you go into the next area to then break that chest to go into the next area and you continue i truly do believe it's in here i've scanned so for so long trying to find this relic like i've literally scanned the world over and over I just, I can't, um, I can't find it. So that makes me believe it's in this game mode that is bugged. So I truly do apologize. Hopefully you guys can forgive me. It is currently 3 a.m. And I genuinely have been searching for like five hours. I'm not even joking. I probably have nightmares about relics, but I will not give up. The absolute moment I know the location and the teleporter for it, I will let you know in the comments section. And if you know where it is, please let us know in the comments so I can inform everyone exactly where it is. Now I'll pin the comment that lets me know where the 50th relic is. I tell you what, it is such a pain to stay up this long to find 49 and not be able to find the 50th one. I really did try. Hopefully you guys can forgive me and I will see you soon in the next vid. Bye bye.